Hey guys, Bridget with Oh My Dog. Uh, we're just a little bit after our place training, and we have Harley here, um, who is not good around other dogs. I've been told. I don't, I don't know because he hasn't been around my dogs. I'm not gonna subject my dogs to, you know, naughty behavior if they don't need it. So what I'm teaching Harley right now is desensitizing him to a muzzle. Okay, so no dog likes a muzzle as far as I can tell. So what I have in my hand is a treat. I don't even think it's a great treat because my other dogs, half the time they'll just spit them out. But all I'm doing is putting the treat on my hand in the muzzle. So the only way he can get that out is by sticking his nose in there and grabbing it. Okay? That's all we're doing. All we're doing. That's it. Okay? Harley, come. In the way. In the way. Yeah, no way. There. Okay. Good boy. That's it. Okay. Granted, we did this five times before I turned on the camera, but right in he goes. Um, so if I can do this, I can teach him that, I mean, muzzle, not so scary. Not as bad as, you know, he might think it is. Granted, this is a giant muzzle. I actually think it might be a little too big for him, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see tomorrow. Well, we can try the smaller size. This is one size down. And we'll see if he can put his nose in that one. Oh, yep, yeah, he can. He can and will. So, desensitizing to a muzzle. Um, a basketball one is a little harder. Um, and this would probably be a lot harder if, say, the dog was human aggressive. Then. You're going to have to get his owner to put the muzzle on for you before they leave. However, I have time, and he, he's not the least bit aggressive from me. I mean, right now, if, <laughs> are you watching him diving into this muzzle right here? Look at this. Second time, there's, there's nothing in there. He keeps putting his head in there. So eventually, you know, in a day or so, um, I'll, I'll have to introduce him to my other dogs. Their Amara will not be part of those dogs, but the three Danes, probably, and we'll have a dressage whip to make him feel safe, make him be able to keep his space, all that kind of good stuff, and then, he didn't kibble off the floor. Good vacuum cleaner. Good. It's like a Roomba, so we should rename him Roomba. Um, yeah. <laughs> Glacier just woke up. We've been here this long and he just woke up. It's been like 15 minutes. But, um, yeah, he's just, uh, just checking stuff out. And he's learning that not everything is scary, which is new for him. Everything, everything was scary before. And imagine living your life that way. And so we're just going to try and do our best to help him learn that. Life's got some pretty cool stuff. A lot of good treats. A lot of good foods. Gotta make friends. You're not really hooked, you goober. You're not really hooked. But here, here's Harley saying goodbye for now. And we'll catch you later.